one story at a time. Tonight, from Joe Robbie Stadium, the Miami Dolphins take on the New Orleans Saints in the final game of the preseason. Tonight's Channel 6 Action Sports exclusive is sponsored in part by your South Florida Mazda dealers. Mazda, it just feels right. By Chevron's high-quality gasolines with Tecrolene. And by Kendall Motor Oil, formulated to protect your high-tech engine. Pour in the protection. Now, here are Jay Randolph and Bob Greasy. And it's a pleasant night for football at Joe Robbie Stadium. The fifth and final preseason game for the Miami Dolphins. A very important night as the season lies ahead. 60 in uniform tonight. Only 47 left on Tuesday, Bob. The final rehearsal, the last chance that some of these young men have to impress Don Shula and the coaching staff. It's a big night. If you're 22 or 23 years old, a rookie or a draft choice or a free agent, this is your last chance to maybe make a professional football team. The other thing that's going to be key here tonight is the offensive momentum of this team. They had a great offense last year. Marino is here and healthy. Six other players that started on that offense are not here because of holdouts or injuries. Nonetheless, they have had no offensive momentum, and they need some going into that big game in Buffalo next week. And you figure the defense is going to be tested, too, because this New Orleans team, they like to run the football. We're looking forward to it. It is indeed a very important night of football that lies ahead. And we'll be back right after these messages. Now, there's an additional reward for discovering Lincoln Luxury. For a limited time, receive a special customer incentive of $2,000 on every 91 Lincoln Town Car, Continental, or Mark 7 before you negotiate your best price. And those savings are yours whether you buy or lease. So if you've been looking for exactly the right time to move up to Lincoln Luxury, don't delay because that time is now. Hurry, see your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Good afternoon, Dad. Keep your hands off the fender. <laughs> you know Chevron has a 93-octane gasoline? Is that right? Maybe I could go fill it up. Just to the gas station. For even better performance, there's 93-octane Chevron Supreme with Tecrolene. Nothing's better at keeping valves clean. Three hours. Gee, Dad, you didn't want me to mix the old gas with the new gas, did you? Chevron, we're with you all the way. If I won Lotto, I'd travel north. Past the ice caps, the land of the endless nights. Marry an Eskimo woman and wear mucklucks. Sleep in an igloo and fish through a hole in the ice. Then I'd get a dog sled and a team of huskies and set out across the frozen tundra, racing the wind. Icicles hanging from my face. If you won Lotto, you could do practically anything you wanted. Onward, brave dogs. Onward, brave dogs. Universal Studios is delivering the greatest one-two punch in entertainment history at knockout prices. Just $22 for adults, $17 for kids. Puts the death-defying starts of the all-new, all-action Wild West stunt show right in your face. Then takes you on the most incredible ride in the universe as you smash the time barrier and rocket back to the future. So get in on Florida's hottest new attractions at hot Florida resident prices. But hurry, because September 30th, time's up. Face top! Well, if you have been in this part of the world for the last 48 hours, you know we've had our share of rain, as usual, this time of the year. But the field is in excellent condition. The drainage here and the way this is all handled at Joe Robbie Stadium always gives you an outstanding playing field. The Saints were 4-1 and one in preseason in 1990, and Don Shula's club 1-3. The Dolphins 12 and 4 in 90 regular season play. New Orleans 8 and 8. Both of these teams got into postseason play. 
Don Shula, 61-year-old native of Plainsville, Ohio, in his 29th season as an NFL coach. And he probably has not looked out on a team with more possibilities and more problems than his Dolphins right now, who play this fifth and final preseason game here tonight. That's Morton Anderson, the seven-year veteran from Michigan State, ready to put the ball in play. One of the truly outstanding kickers in the league. And Mark Higgs, 21. Mark Logan, 20. Back to receive. Logan signing this week. We hope you'll enjoy it wherever you are. And here we go. Higgs at the goal line. Into the middle at the 15. And he is banged right there at the 15-yard line. Leading the way was Vincey Glenn, the veteran free safety, number 29. 16 yard return on the kick up and Marino with Page and Craver the wide receivers Duper Banks and Beatty Clayton still out with that disc problem Widener flanked by Sims and Williams Dellenbach and Dennis first down from the 15 yard line Marino throws outside and it's complete at the 26 yard line up across the 30 and a first down for Duper or was it Banks it was Banks number 86 16 yard pickup on the play as Reggie Jackson the linebacker 57 made the stop over there they spotted the ball at the 32 yard line Banks who came in a week late has been injured much of his career but it looked pretty good here the last couple of weeks. Jackson, Mills, Williams, and Swilling for the Saints, and Buck and Cook and Thompson and Mackey in their secondary. And a little late handoff going to Craver. Craver out of Fresno State. He's been impressive. Sam Mills, 51, the inside linebacker on the tackle. Aaron Craver, the third round draft choice this year, uh, forced to start tonight's ball game because of the injury to Sammy Smith. Sammy's uh, knee rehabbing, uh, coming along fine, will probably be out for another two, three, maybe four weeks. Second down and six at the 36 yard line. Pro football's $25 million man, Dan Marino, at the control, calling an audible. And he wants time. Couldn't get it set, and the play clock was down to two seconds. So some confusion on the play. Marino, 17 of 40, 167 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. With this timeout, we'll take a break. Back with more preseason action right after this. like this is the Mazda Summer Savings Express. Get a Mazda LE5 with a Mazda value pack and $1,300 cash back from Mazda, you can save $2,104. Grab these savings while you can. <laughs> They're moving. The Mazda Summer Savings Express at Ed Morse, Gunther, Warren, Henry, Bird Road, Zinn, Williamson, King, and Ocean Mazda now. These are the machines of the 90s. Fuel injection, overhead caps, poly valve. Today's high-tech engines demand high-tech protection. Kendall Motor Oil is specifically designed to provide the ultimate protection against heat and wear under the most extreme conditions. Don't take a chance with your high-tech engine. Use Kendall Motor Oil, formulated to protect your high-tech engine. Kendall Motor Oil, pour in the protection. Kendall, available at these locations. You've got to get wise to money. Get more for your money at McDonald's. A regular hamburger is just 59 cents. A cheeseburger, 69 cents. A pay saved is a penny earned. That's why you have to pinch it. For breakfast, a sausage biscuit is 79 cents. Get good stuff at a good price, because money doesn't go on trees. And a breakfast burrito or chicken fajita, only 99 cents each. When you get to be my age, you'll understand. <laughs> more for your money. That's McDonald's today. Joe Robbie Stadium, a crowd of better than 40,000 watching this final preseason action. Don Shula 
He's never faced a Jim Mora coach team in preseason play. There Marino's stats. Dan will be 30 years old on the 15th of September. Second down and six from the 36. And nothing there for Craver. Tony Craver. Page, number 49, missing the block. Ricky Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ricky Jackson again coming across from the linebacker spot. Jackson, number 57, from Pahokee, Florida. Left side of your screen. Little arm over by Jackson, number 57. Jackson went to University of Pittsburgh. He played an outside linebacker there. Opposite another player that a lot of uh, Dolphin fans will know, Hugh Green. Jay, that was a pretty good defense back when those two guys... Uh, we're on the uh, outside. You bet it was. Randall Hill, 81, into the game. Working now with Duper and Banks. Three wide receivers on third and 10 from the 32. Out of the gun. Marino steps up, and he throws a little flare up here. And on the move with it is Duper for the first down at the 47-yard line. Duper wide open, 16-yard gain on the play. Calvin Nicholson, number 38. An extra defensive back in the secondary along with Mills, 51 on the tackle. Well, Duper is in the slot, and he is really the outlet. He just going to come across in case that all the linebackers drop off. That's exactly what they did. Marino saw it and didn't throw for the, for the yardage that he needed for the first down because everybody was back there, but hit Duper, and he ran for the first down. Braver to midfield. Got down to the 49-yard line, wrapped up there by Frank Warren, who submarined him, number 73. Warren, a right end, starting tonight for Jim Morris Saints. It's decision time for this fella. He was suspended last year, tested positive for drugs. There are Craver's stats. Warren, number 73, played at Auburn. And he's trying to make it back and be a factor for Jim Mara, 56-year-old native of Glendale, California, who coaches these Saints. Second and seven. Craver again. Nothing doing. Sliding to the right and then turning it up. He met with Wayne Martin, 93, and Jim Wilkes, the known tackle, 94. Let's take a look at the offensive line blocking. Take to the, to the left of the screen. Everybody is into their man. Dennis, number 74, seemed to get some pretty good movement on his man, but Craver, the rookie, was not where he should have been to take advantage of the movement that Dennis did have on the defensive end. On third and seven, four wide receivers in there now. Scott Miller, the rookie, number eight. Banks, 86, Hill 81, and Duper 85. The Saints go into their prevent defense. Marino throwing and under throws, intercepted on the far sideline. Coming back with it, Vince Buck. Buck still going and inside the 20 yard line. And a big scramble and a pile up as he appeared to lose the ball inside the 15 yard line. But it was Buck coming up in front, his second interception of the preseason. The pass underthrown. And it's going to be first down Saints at the 13-yard line. It's going to throw to the left side of our screen. Has good protection. Just uh, under throws it a little bit. If he'd thrown it, maybe Duper ran the wrong route. Duper's going to miss an opportunity to make the tackle right here. That's just poor tackling by Duper. You saw Marino come over there. He's down in there. Uh, you don't want Marino making No, tackles. he tried to, though. He's the last <laughs> line of defense. That's right. That's an old quarterback speaking, folks. A 43-yard <laughs> return on the play. Mills finally came away with the ball. And now it is Bobby Hebert on the run. Hebert at the 10, down near the 9-yard line. Tripped up by John Offerdahl, number 56. Hebert getting the start. Steve Walsh. Former Miami star will see action in the second half. They've got a decision to make at quarterback, Bob. Yes, they do. Uh, take another look. If there's been one pleasant uh, uh, side of the Dolphin uh, team this uh, preseason, it's been their defense. 
playing very well most all of the uh, preseason, stopping uh, a bear on a short scramble. Second and seven at the nine. A bear handing it to Hilliard, and Hilliard in for the touchdown. Nobody touched him. Dalton Hilliard. The all-time touchdown leader in New Orleans history out of LSU. Brian Cox, the rookie linebacker out of Western Illinois, and number five draft choice, was over on that side. Let's take a look. Left side of your screen he is held right there. Number 51 gets hooked. That's Hobie Brenner, number 86, doing the 85, doing the blocking. And a whole host of blockers out there, but the initial block was made on Cox. And the Saints are on the board. Morton Anderson with the point after. Anderson has it up and good. And with 9.15 remaining, first quarter, New Orleans leads it 7 to nothing. Here's what opportunity looks like. This is the Mazda Summer Savings Express. Get a Mazda 626 sedan. Get your choice of $1,000 cash back from Mazda or 5.9% financing through Mazda American Credit. Grab these savings while you can. <laughs> They're moving. The Mazda Summer Savings Express at Ed Morse, Gunther, Warren, Henry, Bird Road, Zinn, Williamson, King, and Ocean Mazda now. Kentucky Fried Chicken asked a leading authority to taste our honey barbecue wings. Tender, juicy wings. Oh, this dude I know is a smooth operator. 7 nothing on the board, and here it is. Take a look to the left side of your screen. 85 uh, on the offense. That's Hobie Brenner. See him throw both his arms out. He hooks Brian Cox. Now, that's the main uh, block right there. The linebacker offered or all gets, also gets blocked inside, but the key block at the point of attack was the rookie Cox being held by the tight end, Hobie Brenner. Anderson will put the ball in play. Higgs and Logan are deep. Higgs in the end zone, and he will down it. It'll come out to the 20. This game presented by authority of the National Football League, produced by CBS-owned television station WCIX-TV Miami, Florida, in cooperation with WPEC-TV West Palm Beach. This telecast intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of CBS Stone Television Station WCIX, the Miami Dolphins, and the New Orleans Saints, as well as the NFL, is prohibited. You're going to start a drive. That certainly is the way to start. Uh, start on your uh, the other team's 13-yard line, and in two plays, you've got seven points on the board. Marino on first down, throws to the far sideline, and the ball dropped over there by Mark Duper. Duper, 51 career touchdowns out of northwest Louisiana. Now in his 10th season. Duper has averaged 50 catches per year over his career. What an outstanding, uh, except for his first year. That's the last nine years, the last eight years. This is his 10th year. Bob Logan in the game, number 20 now, working in the backfield with Kraber. Second down and 10. Rushes on, look out. Intercepted, picked off. Touchdown, Frank Warren. Marino backing up, the rush coming. Pat Swilling, the linebacker, 56, caused a big problem. But it's easy for me to say that he probably should never have thrown that ball. Frank Warren, we talked about it being decision time for him, number 73. It's supposed to be a middle screen. Everybody's letting their men in. Now Marino wants to get the ball to Logan. Throws it right into the chest of Warren because of the heat that was on him. Here's a team that was last in the NFL in interceptions last year. Last. They only had eight interceptions all year. They have two in the first uh, six or seven minutes of this ball game against Marino. And New Orleans, hurt by turnovers last week, takes advantage of two early turnovers here to lead it 14 to nothing. Here's what opportunity looks like. This is the Mazda 
Summer Savings Express. Get a Mazda 626 sedan. Get your choice of $1,000 cash back from Mazda or 5.9% financing through Mazda American Credit. Grab these savings while you can. <laughs> They're moving. The Mazda Summer Savings Express at Ed Morse, Gunther, Warren, Henry, Bird Road, Zinn, Williamson, King, and Ocean Mazda now. Like Coach always said, hit him in the numbers. Who do the pros call for an all-pro deal on hot, delicious pizza? Who do you think? 8.55 remaining in the first period of play, and New Orleans out to a 14-0 advantage. The interception by Warren. He took it in from six yards out. Here's another look at that uh, middle screen. Yeah, and that's the... They don't get many interceptions in New Orleans. Anderson kicks off again. And another boomer from this very talented kicker. Logan will down it. It'll come out to the 20-yard line. Uh, this crowd sitting stunned at the moment at the way this fifth and final preseason game has gotten underway. It'll be an uphill climb from here. Well, the Dolphin offense that needed to get some offense and momentum going, as we mentioned in the opening, certainly has done exactly the opposite, coming out with two Marino interceptions. The second one was a middle screen that just never uh, really developed because of the pressure on the quarterback. Looked like it might have been for Logan, huh? Craver. A yard at most. Frank Warren, number 73, who had the interception, made the tackle. Bob, when you ask the question, if you want to ask it, who is the leading rusher Average-wise on the Dolphins, you find out that Scott Seacules with a 3.8 rushing average during the preseason. That's got to tell you something. Yeah, that's not very good. Their, uh, their team rushing average of all the running backs and quarterback is 2.6 yards per carry. Four is, is considered good. On second down, they delay to Craver. And Craver gets near the 25-yard line. Braver upended by James Williams, number 90, and Reggie Jones, number 27. The Dolphins came out throwing the football tonight on the first possession they threw, and then on the uh, first down of the second possession they threw. Here's a look at some of the people that are missing in this offense. Six offensive starters plus Pete Stoyanovich. Their center, two offensive linemen in Galbraith and Webb. Edmonds and Clayton, two of their best wide receivers. Sammy Smith is injured, and Stoyanovich... Uh, that makes seven if you count the kicker. Stoyanovich, 100 points last season, Bob. Six offensive starters that normally would be with Marino are not in there. Another interception off the hands of Duper. Coming back with it is Vincey Glenn, the six-year veteran from Indiana State. Glenn, who came over in the trade from the Raiders. Well, what a revolting development this is. An 11-yard return and... Three consecutive interceptions off Marino, and New Orleans will set up shop in close at the 37. Ball goes off the hands. Is that Banks? Duper. Hands of Duper. I repeat again that arguably one of the best uh, quarterbacks in the National Football League has thrown three interceptions to a team that last year only intercepted eight balls all year last in the National Football League. Bobby Bear throwing, almost intercepted. Coming back was Bobby Harden to pick it off nearly. Looked like it was intended for Quinn Early, who was an All-American at Iowa, number 89. Jay, I think we have to go back to that offensive graphic that we showed about the offense. I think, right. you know, Marino is here, and everybody expects the offense. If, if Dan Marino is here with all of the millions of dollars that he signed a new car, that doesn't get it. You still have to have people around you, people blocking for you, people running the right routes, and the running game. They don't have that, and they're not going to have it for a while. Right up the middle, the handoff to Hilliard, and a good job by the defense, led by David Griggs, number 92, 
the outside linebacker. Briggs, who was third in sacks on the Dolphin Club in 1990. Fellow who has all the tools. So look at Hilliard. He's in his sixth year. He's a little, a uh, lot of slatting and a lot of juking. He had a very frustrating year last season. Disappointing year, and they hope that he's going to get back into business. He it's missed, third and eight at the 35. Yeah, he missed the last 10 games of last year. Hilliard did. He was an outstanding back for him previous to that. Bobby Bear out of the gun to the far sideline battle for and it was intended over there for Gerald Alphen Alphen a second year man who has three touchdowns in the preseason played in the CFL for four years from Kansas State Langford had the coverage and did a good job back there Jim Mora assistant and later head coach at his alma mater Occidental was at Stanford with Dick Vermeil at Colorado, UCLA, Washington. He's been around. Morton Anderson, one of the best in the business, 77.1% accuracy rate, third in the NFL all time, and it is wide. The field goal from 52 yards, tried by Morton Anderson, goes wide to the left. 6.09 remaining of this first period. 14-nothing New Orleans. The 91 Cadillac Closeout. If you don't hurry, you'll be closed out on some of the year's best values and factory cash back. Plus Cadillac's spacious interior. Enormous trunk space. Fuel-injected V8 engine. And a direct factory rebate of up to $2,500. So don't get closed out. Visit your Florida Cadillac dealer now. I see you're feeling a little remorse, some anxiety, perhaps, because you didn't buy a snapper this year. Tisk, tisk. Well, let's play a little word association game, shall we? Sure. Ready? Mm-hmm. Emotional gratification. Uh, big snapper sale. Peak experience. Free lawn stuff? I see. Anxiety. Sale ends October 31st. Good grief, man. Snap out of it. Well, at least your crisis is well-timed. Choose free merchandise with your new snapper at the fall cleanup sale. And every week, we get together at this house and sit around this table because... We're, We're the guys! We order supreme pizzas delivered from Pizza Hut because... We're the guys! Yes! Yeah. But yeah. tonight, we're really hungry. So we're getting super supreme pizza. The door! Call Pizza Hut delivery for a supreme pizza for eight ninety nine or a second for four bucks more. Or make them super supremes with three more toppings for an extra buck. Bye, guys. She is not a guy. We're the guys! Pizza Hut delivery, making it great. Dan Marino and the Dolphins down 14 to nothing. Marino, three of his four passes, his last four, have been intercepted. And what's the feeling in the huddle right now? Uh, Mr. Greasy? Well, it is, uh, there's a lot of ticked off players. That's that's to be sure. Uh, Shula's not going to be very happy with it. It's, but it's early. There's a lot of time to do a lot of positive things offensively if they can get it going. And a throw back across the field intended for Tony Page a little low, and he couldn't hold it. Pretty good penetration there by Wayne Martin, the number one draft choice a couple of years ago from Arkansas, number 93. Look at Amanda Marino is really not playing with a full deck. Uh, Dolphins in preseason, they're rushing average yards per game, only 57 yards per game. Last year, they got a running game going that uh, really helped in taking the pressure off of the passing game. On second down, Craver goes down for a loss. Back at the 33-yard line, Frank Warren, who's had a tremendous first period, number 73, with help from the nose man, Wilkes, 94. There's a strength defensively for New Orleans. It is their defense. It's an underhand handoff. They are 11th in the league defensively, and they're, they have four outstanding linebackers. In fact, all four of their linebackers have been to the Pro Bowl at least twice. Dolphins one for three on third down conversions. 
Marino out of the shotgun. Four wide receivers in the game. Duper, Hill, Banks, and Miller. Coming downfield and intending for Randall Hill. Calvin Nicholson, 38, one of the extra men in the secondary, had the coverage back there. Let's go back and talk about those interceptions for a second. There's three that are attributed to Marino, but one bounced off of Duper's hands and another was poorly thrown. You don't know if Duper ran the wrong route or not. So, you know, they, they go up against Marino, but it could be, and Shula may well know that it wasn't his fault, but it may be in the receiver's fault. Reggie Roby, the nine-year veteran from Iowa, averaging 48.7. Kick to Vince Buck. Buck at the 18. Goes down. And what a play downfield for Kerry Glenn, the cornerback number 35. Glenn out of Minnesota, five-year man, 49-yard punt. Well, Glenn, a reminder, you don't have to... Oh, go ahead, Bob. I just got to say that Glenn is a special teams captain. Came over on a Plan B acquisition a couple of years ago. Has had been out with a knee and a uh, shoulder problem, and he is a big asset. That fires this ball club up, and they need something to fire him up about this time. And it fired this crowd up. They're chanting for the defense to get the ball. Wesley Carroll, number 18, into the wide receiver spot for the Saints. Bobby Bear, who sat out all last season, back now with the Saints and trying to become their starting quarterback. Dalton Hilliard is jammed up as he got to the 16-yard line. Oglesby, 96, and Griggs, 92, doing the job. Well, you don't have to miss any NFL action. Season tickets and individual, individual game tickets still available. Call the ticket office at 620-2578. Or Ticketmaster at 1-800-255-3094 for your tickets to Dolphin football action in the 91 NFL season. Craig Hayward out of Pittsburgh. 599 yards last season, 14th in the NFC. Oglesby 96 on the tackle. The ball just shy of the 20-yard line. Hayward in preseason averaging 3.6 per carry and he is a big brute. I don't need to tell you that you can see it. <laughs> they list him at 260 but uh, it's pretty common knowledge that he's up over that and he's a fullback. Third and four. They got him spread out out of the shotgun. Dolphins in their prevent defense. Bear has time and it's complete to Hilliard over the middle and they're going to say the play was dead. I think they're short of the first down at the 23 yard line. Mike Aguinello number 48 the rookie came in there and listen to the hand for this defense. Well, Jay Aguinello is one of the players that uh, is trying to make this ball club. Take a quick look at this. The pass protection, 96 is Oglesby. Turner is 95. They put enough pressure on him that he has to go to the short man. And the ball comes out late. Tommy Barnhart to do the punting for the Saints. He's averaged 50.5 in preseason. Downfield, Scott Miller at the 40. 45, midfield. Banged out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Good return. Ernest Spears, number 33, made the tackle for the Saints. So the Dolphins will get the football and have an opportunity to battle back in this one after a 38-yard punt and a 15-yard return. It was a good job by Scott Miller. He caught that punt and got it upfield, didn't hit the ground, and got some yardage back, positive yardage, didn't run around. He's got a good chance to make this ball club, too. Page and Craver are in the backfield. That's Banks going in motion and now turning and coming back to the near side. Craver inside the 45-yard line to the 44. Jim Wilkes, 94, on the tackle. If you're just joining us, it's been a disaster. Three interceptions from Marino. 
two of those turnovers turned into touchdowns. 14 to nothing. 214 remaining of this first quarter. Marino, 31,000 plus yards in his career, 241 touchdowns. And Greg Beatty couldn't hold on down at the 38 yard line. Sam Mills, the linebacker, 51, isolated with him there. Beatty's showing Marino that the ball was a little bit behind him. Beatty not only a backup tight end on this ball club, but he is also the primary long snapper, something that comes in uh, to his favor very strongly when Shula starts cutting the roster down. You, you certainly need somebody that is versatile and can snap on punts and field placements. Marino has not completed a pass in his last seven attempts. Well, he has, but it's been to the other club. Yes, that's correct. Third and eight. <laughs> Penalty marker down. Marino throwing. It's complete to Craver, short of the first down. Sam Mills, 51 on the tackle. Pressure from Pat Swilling, the linebacker, 56. And we'll see what this flag is all about. Take a look at Sam Mills. Sam Mills, the shortest linebacker in the National Football League. Offside <laughs> against the Saints. The referee tonight is Tom White. It was probably Swilling. There are our officials tonight. Ed Fiffick, Ron Fairs, Larry Upson, Paul Bates, along with Dick Creed and Ron Spittler. The replay official here tonight, assigned to the National Football League. Former official, Al Sabato. Third and three at the 39. Saints showing a blitz didn't come and the pass way wide it looked like Miller got a little held up over there but there were so many Saints over there he couldn't get by them Scott Miller <laughs> number eight a rookie ninth round draft choice was jammed to the line of scrimmage there was a collision the outside receiver and the inside receiver on that side were crossing there was a collision And uh, he got tangled up, it looked like, in Banks the feet of that Banks. fellow. Yeah. Banks and uh, Scott Miller were crossing, and uh, he didn't beat the jam. Basically, you just have to beat the jam. Dolphins are going for it on fourth down. Craver is the setback with Marino. Marino throws low. He was intending for Fred Banks at the 33, the pass underthrown. Vince Buck had the coverage. And the Saints will take over with a minute and 16 remaining. And you look at Marino's rather dismal numbers. Well, it's been an up and down week for Dan Marino, signing that huge contract earlier in the week. And you know, fans being what they are, they expect if you sign big, uh, big numbers to be perfect every week. Uh, well, I think you said it best, though, Bobby. Doesn't have the cast of characters no, he, he needs right now. He's not looking good, but there's, there, you know, you're only as good as the people around you, too. Bobby A. Bear, quick toss behind his intended receiver. He was trying to get it to Eric Martin. Martin out of LSU. Opperdahl with the coverage in there. Probably Hebert went to Southwest Louisiana State. I think you mentioned that earlier, Jay. He also, uh, he threw to, uh, while he was there, he threw passes to Mark Duper, who was there at the same time, and also a pretty good running back, Joe Delaney. Oh, yeah. Went on to start him. the Kansas City Chiefs. That's a pretty good ball club, Southwest Louisiana. I think it was Northwest, wasn't it? Northwest. Yeah. Over the middle. That's complete to Hilliard, but there is a penalty marker down. Whistle on the snap. They're going to bring it back. Illegal procedure against New Orleans. Stadium having a problem uh, with the referee's mic at the moment. Jim Mora. 87 NFL coach of the year leading the Saints to a 12 and 4 record in their first playoff appearance at that time. He was the winningest coach in the USFL. 
Good football man, this fella. He was three years with the Philadelphia Stars. He went to the championship game of that league all three years, and he won it twice. And when uh, when that league folded, uh, New Orleans said, hey, let's get him over here. Hebert on second and 15, trying to set up a little screen. He does. Hilliard, Hilliard run out of bounds just shy, and he got to the 39, a penalty marker thrown in there. Alfredal is getting up awful slowly. Alfredal limping a little bit. He's hurt. There he is. You can ill afford to get to uh, have him. Uh, what a remarkably talented performer. Out of Western Michigan. Tough, tough, tough. But it looks like, well, is he going to stay in? They're getting Barry Krause ready to come on, but they haven't sent him out there yet. Says he's all right. Okay. Whipping. Offense, 15 yards. And indeed may have put on Offerdahl. Yes, and now Offerdahl coming off under his own power. A clipping call against New Orleans. 56, right in the middle of your screen. Watch Offerdahl. He reads screen to his left, to our left. There's a block. Watch Offerdahl. There's the oh, clip right yes. there. It looked like Dombrowski to me, number Grabs 72. Grabs his right knee yep. right there. Mm -hmm. Dombrowski, the left guard. Oh, now it's going to bring up third and 29 back at the 27. Or check at the 22. Bear stands up, throws over the middle. Hilliard out to the 32-yard line. Bobby Harden, 45 on the tackle. Well short of the first down. 30 seconds remaining of this first period. Not a bad play, though, Jay. Third and long, or second and long, to hit your shifty uh, running back out of the backfield and let him uh, try and make something happen, get part of it back. Right, try, you can't try to get it all back in that situation very often, can you? No, you're a real good receiver and a great runner in open field. Oh, it's third and 16. Let's see if they get this play off before the end of the period. They don't. We come to the end of the first quarter of play in this fifth and final preseason game for the Dolphins. And they've got to climb the mountain. They're down 14 to nothing. Universal Studios is delivering the greatest one-two punch in entertainment history at knockout prices. Just $22 for adults, $17 for kids. Puts the death-defying stunts of the all-new, all-action Wild West stunt show right in your face. Then takes you on the most incredible ride in the... Dolphins preseason football is a Channel 6 action sports exclusive. Along with Hall of Famer Bob Greasy and our entire crew, Jay Randolph with you from JRS as we move into the second period of play. John Offerdahl, they've been attending to him, Bob Lundy and Bill Davis and the training crew. Looks like it's an ankle, Jay. Got hit put from behind. I doubt if we'll see him anymore tonight. Third down, 16. Bear still there at quarterback. Bear throws to the near sideline and intending it for Lonzel Hill. Good coverage by Vesty Jackson, number 24. He's looked good all camp. He really has. Uh, if the name Lonzel Hill rings a bell, well, his dad was J.D. Hill. The number two draft choice, number 87. J.D. Hill played many years for the Buffalo Bills. Outstanding receiver. This is Tommy Barnhart out of North Carolina in his fifth year. A 38-yard punt, his first time out. Scott Miller back to receive. Miller's going to let it kick, take it on the bounce at the 31. And he is brought down right at the 31-yard line. Leading the way was Buford Jordan, number 23, a 37-yard punt. 14:44 remaining in the first half. We'll be right back. Fact 
means the Ford authorized clearance is happening today at your South Florida Ford dealers. That means low year-end savings on the full line of 91 Ford trucks. Fact, 91 Ranger XLTs with air, AM, FM, cassette, and more sticker priced at 9271. Fact, 91 F-150s loaded with value, sticker priced at 10497. Get 2.9% finance. Long drive to left field. It's deep. Deep. He's on the warning track. It Moon over Miami. And problems for the Dolphins as we bring you back into Joe Robbie Stadium. They've just received a penalty that will push them all the way back to the 14 yard line. And uh, the referee, Tom White, came over to explain this call to Don Shula. And now. Dan Marino's asking about it. And now there's White, but another official comes over to say something at the sidelines. Bob, I couldn't catch exactly what the infraction was. Well, his microphone is out. We couldn't hear it. He gave a signal for unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, that could cover a bunch of things. I think it had to do something with the bench, maybe a substitution going off the wrong way, or maybe uh, something said from the bench. There aren't too many happy campers over there on the Dolphins sideline. Uh, they've had the ball three, uh, five times. The first three possessions, that's Gary Stevens on the left of Shula. The first three possessions ended in uh, interceptions. The Dolphins have um, one first down. Their third down conversions are one of five. And New Orleans doesn't have any first downs. They've got 14 points. But they have two touchdowns. <laughs> Of course, they've taken the ball over on the Dolphin 13-yard line and the Dolphin 37. All right, the Dolphins set to operate near their 14-yard line. Coming here to the near side, Randall Hill. Hill and Banks, the wide receivers now. Duper out of the lineup. And the new tight end is Charles Henry, 87. That's Banks going in motion to the far side. Play action. Marino throws. It is complete. That is Henry. Close to a first down near the 23 yard line. But with the absence of Farrell Edmonds, Charles Henry from the University of Miami has a good chance of making this ball club. We'll follow him uh, throughout the night, but uh, left side of your screen, tight end releases to the inside, play action pass. Now he goes out the right corner of your screen. Henry is uh, one of the players, uh, young players. I think Scott Miller is another one that's kind of on the bubble with a good chance to make the ball club. He did get the first down at the 24. Nothing shaking for Tony Page, though, as Wayne Martin, 93, came in to make a fine tackle. Yeah, that, that's offensive line problems there when, when, the, when the nose tackle or when the defensive line just get right through. Uh, and again, we mentioned that uh, Widener is the center. Uh, Williams uh, Widener's in his second year. He was an 11th round draft choice last year. Williams, who is playing next to him at right guard, is a fifth round draft choice this year. Sims, the left guard, is in his second year. A lot of young players in that front for the Dolphins. And Widener, a converted nose tackle, he's been struggling playing at that center spot. Second and 11 at the 23. That's complete. And a catch made by Fred Banks and he's got the first down up at the 42 yard line Brett Maxey number 39 made the tackle well quick passing if you're if you if your offensive line can't hold him out throw quick passes and uh, that's exactly what Freddie Banks caught a little slant over the line Banks leads the Dolphins in receptions with 10 in the preseason and has been one of their best receivers when he has been healthy 19 yard pickup on the play first down at the 42 yard line Marino rolling out throwing and completing it to Banks Banks is inside the 25 Pat Swilling makes the tackle there's a penalty marker down way back upfield at the 40 yard line 
holding will nullify it 32 yard gain wiped out there is some good news Offerdahl has a foot or ankle problem he is expected to return Bob it's number 65 the right tackle that's Dellenbach who pushed his man to the inside and then held him Marino circled out around him but the official on the side you saw the, the flag come in they will get another look at this but not as good as the other one but number 65 to the right of your screen Dellenbach was the guilty party Marino showing some footwork though and getting around it technicians are still struggling with referee Tom White's microphone and we can't indicate to you who the holding was on ball spotted at the 32 12 18 <laughs> remaining first half 14 to nothing New Orleans if it wasn't on Dellenbach they've got a scoop <laughs> if they got a scoop that's right first and 20 throw to the outside complete over there to Hill Hill stepping out of bounds as Toy Cook number 41 had the coverage Banks coming back in Randall Hill making a catch of a little quick out uh, a lot of these fans saw him at the University of Miami saw a lot of the dances and gyrations that he did wondering what he's going to do when he catches the ball with the Dolphins uh, kind of a subdued reaction although he did thrust both his hands in the air as we take a look at the we call them the Dolphin cheerleaders mm -hmm. you're not supposed to do anything to intimidate the other team anymore are you Bob well that's in college <laughs> that's right <laughs> I mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> Randall Hill couldn't play for the university and do those things this year. No, he couldn't. Second and 13. Marino going long downfield, and it is almost picked off. He was going to Fred Banks, and Vince Buck came close to picking it away. Buck intercepted one earlier, his second of the preseason. Watch the pressure on Marino from the right side right there. Had That's, to get rid of it. That was swilling again. The linebacker, 56. This defense for New Orleans, we mentioned the strength. They're not very strong in their pass coverage, but they have been tonight intercepting three passes already. But they do get after the passer. Scott Miller, the rookie from UCLA, back in there. Four wide receivers for Marino. Third and 13 at the 39. Marino steps up. Running for his life, throws. Ooh! He almost connected with Banks, and he might have gone all the way. Toy Cook with the coverage. Banks, in an effort to catch that ball, had to twist himself back, but he almost came up with it. Reno not ready for that snap. Take a look at the pass rush. Reno has to slide around. Banks sees the throw, sees him under pressure. Oh, he should have caught it. Would have been a tough catch, but it. Could have caught it. Yeah, right through his hands. I thought he had, had to, to reach push. back for it. Yeah, he did have to reach back a bit. Roby punting to Gil Fennerty with an 11 yard return average. Fennerty comes up, takes it, and takes a beating right at the 11 yard line. Coming downfield, leading the way was Chris Green, second year man from Illinois. A 49 yard punt. 11 07 remaining in the first half. New Orleans up 14 to nothing. Here's what opportunity looks like. This is a something at Circuit City. Then see it advertised for less. Just come back. Our low price guarantee means you'll get the difference. Uh, excuse me. Mm hmm. Last week I bought this. Plus 10 percent of the difference. And today I saw this. Just open the paper and there it was. It's that easy. Yeah. That's it? That's it. Cool. Welcome to Circuit City, where service is state of the art. Ball at the 11-yard line for New Orleans. Offerdahl back in the lineup for the Dolphins. Bobby Hebert still at the controls. Three years in the USFL. 62.9% of his passes completed back in 89, the last season that he played. And this is Hilliard. Penalty marker thrown in there. Hobie Brenner was leading the way, the tight end, the tackle by David Griggs, 92, and we'll see what the penalty's about. 
It's against New Orleans. I think it's holding, Jay. It's good to see uh, Offerdahl back in there. You know, Offerdahl's a tough guy. He doesn't want to come out. He Obviously, Shula asked him, said, if, you know, you want to stay out, and he wanted to get back in there. Holding, number 89, offense, half the distance, still first down. The call goes against Quinn Early, number 89, the wide receiver. And hopefully now we've got that mic problem cleared up. We're able to hear referee Tom White. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? It's, it helps. <laughs> Ball just over the five-yard line. And a handoff going to Hayward. Ironhead gets to about the eight. Wrapped up by Mike Reichenbach, number 52. New Orleans, 8-8 eight and eight in the 90 season. Lost at Chicago, 16-6 in the playoffs. There's Hayward last season with a 4.6 average. Gil Fennerty now is into the game, replacing Dalton Hilliard. Fennerty, number 22, a New Orleans native who played at Holy Cross. A bear with the pitch back and coming with it is Fennerty. He's run out of bounds. Good block by Hayward in front of him to help him get a little bit. SD Jackson 24 playing it well. The Dolphins were 12 and 4 in 90 and then took Kansas City 17 to 16 before losing 44 34 at Buffalo. Preseason stats on Fennerty. Last Monday, the Dolphins lost a 21-13 game at Mile High Stadium to the Broncos. Only four days to get ready for this. Yeah, it was a short week. Uh, the good thing about the short week, though, is they'll have uh, eight days to get ready for the game up in Buffalo. Third and nine. Early going in motion to the far side. Bear steps up and throws, and it is complete. That's Gerald Alpha, number 86. Now, this fella had four years in the CFL played high school ball just down the street from me in St. Louis at University City Mike Magruder 28 had the coverage left side of your screen there's three receivers coming out this ball is thrown very well 20 yard pickup for the first down at the 34 yard line 8.50 remaining in the first half. New Orleans leading 14 to nothing. Hilliard back in along with Hayward now in the backfield. And that's Hayward. Hayward who played at Pittsburgh. Number one draft choice. Came out of there. Saints were a running team last year, Jay. They finished uh, 16th in the league in rushing statistics and 26th in the league passing the ball. Bobby Hebert, as you mentioned, missed the whole year. Uh, he was a holdout, a contractual uh, holdout. Uh, Jim Finks, the general manager, just uh, said, you know, we offered you a fair contract. There were a couple other guys holding out this year. Uh, Perriman, uh, Brett Perriman, formerly of the University of Miami. They were both traded this year, so Finks doesn't mess around. No, he's an old liner, isn't he? This pass is incomplete. The catch was made, but... Eric Martin, a former LSU star, was out of bounds. And a nice play by Vesty Jackson. Almost picking that ball off. Jackson continues to impress, and without J.B. Brown over there, he's going to be needed. Well, Tom Olivadotti, the defensive coordinator, was saying, watch as Brown, number 24, just cuts right in front. Well, he didn't get a piece of it. Oh, the no. ball was caught. We couldn't see from the player standing on the sideline. But the ruling was that uh, he did not have his feet in bounds with possession of the ball. I think they're going to look at it, Bob. That looked, uh, on that replay right there, it appeared that he might have caught it in bounds. As you mentioned, we couldn't get a get very good view of it. Now, let's watch. One foot down. Yeah, well, you can't tell. Look, well. You cannot overrule the, no. the officials on the field from that look. 
From that angle, it's not, very, very not tough. From that look, you can. It was tough for us because of all of the Dolphins along the sideline, and there was a good deal of politicking going on that he was definitely out of bounds. <laughs> well, getting back to Vesty Jackson, uh, uh, Tom Olivadotti was saying the other day that he has really had a good preseason, has really been impressed with the play of the, uh, the young man who came over in a trade uh, uh, in the spring for uh, Eric Kumaro uh, from the Chicago Bears. Jackson had an interception there uh, last year. He started eight ball games for the Bears and had an interception return for a touchdown. Al Sabato, I mentioned, is the replay official. And after a look, uh, there was not enough to overturn that call. Well, you have to have indisputable visual evidence. And that there was some question about that replay that we saw. Third down and nine from the 35, and Bear from the shotgun. 87, Hill in motion. Over the middle, pass caught by Hilliard. He's got a first down at the 41-yard line. Hilliard brought down by Chris Green, extra defensive back in there. Green number 42. Hilliard. Seven and a half minutes to play first half. Hilliard has been the primary uh, target for Abear. This is his fifth reception in a little over a quarter and a half of football as he picks up the first down. He's also carried the ball three times, so he's touched it eight times already here in the early going. Martin out at the top of the screen, early to the left, handoff Hilliard. Hilliard to the 48-yard line. Brian Cox wrapped him up with Offerdahl. Cox is quite a story, getting the start tonight, the rookie, number 51. There he is. He had that pinched nerve in the Chicago game right at the end of the game, you'll remember. It was a tough time. This young man is coached by a wonderful gentleman named Bob Shannon, who has done a remarkable job at East St. Louis High School across the river from St. Louis. He's been in the state title game, I think, seven of the last eight years and won it six times. Shannon does a remarkable job with the underprivileged kids of that community. Over the middle, complete to Hilliard. And at the 41-yard line, Hilliard is brought down by Lewis Oliver. Just to complete that story about Bob Shannon and the great job he does at East St. Louis, fellow who got a lot of heat, Bill Bidwell, the owner of the St. Louis football Cardinals, now the Phoenix Cardinals, still sends about $25,000 to help buy equipment for that high school. That's great. <laughs> So sometimes it's not always the way it looks yeah. on the surface. Sound like he had some good players along the way, too. Oh, he's had some wonderful players, Bob Shannon. Hayward to the 37-yard line. And David Griggs out of Virginia, a fellow who has all the tools, number 92 at left outside linebacker, made the play. New Orleans. Got the lead 14 to nothing early as Marino coughed it up three times and twice. Those turnovers helped New Orleans come quickly with touchdowns. This is the 10th play of this drive. A bear throws and it is intercepted. Coming back upfield with it. Magruder. Magruder may go all the way. He Bruder brings this crowd to its feet with a 72-yard interception for a touchdown. He blocked the punt in Denver last week. The Scooter does the job. Has this been a weird ball game or what? Good uh, pressure. Another tip ball. This is the fourth interception in a little over a quarter and a half. Now, Magruder, all he has to do is outrun this big fullback who weighs 270 pounds. Look at Hayward. If he would have gotten caught by Hayward, he would have been the laughing stock of the whole team on the sideline. Charlie Bauman with the point after. It is up and it is good. Incidentally, Charlie Bauman out of West Virginia has been perfect in field goals and extra points. 
standing in for Stoyanovic. 5.07 left in the first half. New Orleans 14, Miami 7. Good for you. You waited for the perfect time to get a new Mazda. The Mazda Summer Savings Express is here. Get a Mazda 929. Here's what you can save. With limited time incentives on 929, you could save up to $2,000. Hurry. This can't last long. The Mazda Summer Savings Express. At Ed Morse, Gunther, Warren, Henry, Bird Road, Zinn, Williamson, King, and Ocean Mazda now. Kentucky Fried Chicken asked a leading authority to taste our honey barbecue wings. Tender, juicy wings and a savory barbecue sauce with a touch of honey. Honey barbecue wings from KFC. The experts are already buzzing about it. And now, honey barbecue wings come in the KFC variety bucket. Get two of your favorite kinds of chicken, plus honey barbecue wings for just $9.99. $9.99. A pretty sweet deal. Sound Advice drastically lowers its prices during the 17th annual August Scratch and Dent Clearance Sale. It'll knock your socks off. All Sound Advice prices are radically cut on closeouts, special purchases, overstocks, and thousands of Scratch and Dent items. All Yamaha receivers on sale, starting at just $169.95. All Infinity speakers on sale, starting at only $49.95 each. And get $260 worth of free accessories with purchase of selected camcorders. The Sound Advice 17th annual August Scratch and Dent Clearance Sale. The best combination of price, product, and service guaranteed. If you like defense, you're loving it, I'm sure, because all of the scoring has been created on interceptions. Turnovers have been the key. The tip balls will do it to you every time. When the ball is tipped, the defense has a big advantage because everybody on the defense is looking at the ball. Magruder, who played three years in the USFL, came over to the Dolphins last year on Plan B from Green Bay, and they need some big plays from their corners, and they're getting it. Fennerty taking Bauman's kickoff. And he gets through to the 19-yard line, and penalty markers go down. Leading the way, Kerry Glenn, number 35 on the tackle. Tom White pointing to the flag and holding against New Orleans. That nullifies a 17-yard return. Jim Mora. Bob mentioned they had great success with the Stars. Well, trouble again with the mic, but we think it was. Well, I'm not going to guess. <laughs> I'm not going to guess. Offerdahl is out of the lineup. Barry Krause, 58 in there. This is, may very well be Barry Krause's last year. That's the indication. The former Brown from Alabama. The oldest Dolphin missed 90 because of the knee. Number 58 is in there. We've got Buford Jordan, six-year veteran from McNeese State who played in the USFL. Was with Green Bay for a time. He's in there, number 23. This pass intercepted, and it's Bestie Jackson coming back at the 40. 35, down the sideline. He stepped out of bounds. Besty stepped out of bounds back at the 33. Well, if you like <laughs> action, boy, here, this is it. We need to go back to that shot of the full moon. Yeah, we do. The full moon has definitely changed the karma here tonight. Wow, look at this play. Great athleticism here. Well, Tim McKire was one of the Dolphins uh, defensive backs corners last year that can make big plays. On successive plays, you've seen what the Dolphins have got this year for their two cornerbacks in, Mc in, uh, in Magruder and Bestie Jackson. Yeah, it's a strange one tonight. 21-yard return a moment ago by Bestie Jackson. Aaron Craver having trouble finding the handle. And the ball back at the 42-yard line. Henry comes out. They send in the extra wide receivers. It's going to be second down and 19. Scott Miller returning number eight. Duper 85 to work with Hill 81 and Banks 86.
Magruder 72 yards with the interception for the touchdown and now Jackson getting it right back and see if the Dolphins can come back and tie it up 350 remaining first half Marino throws and it's a little wide intending it for Randall Hill on the sidelines Vince Buck had the coverage the faithful here well, on the surface, on Marino a little bit. And on the surface, that looked like a poor throw by Marino, and it may have been, but let me say that he was throwing to a rookie receiver. Right. And having been in that position of the quarterback before, there are a lot of times when you expect the receiver to take it a little deeper or run the route a little bit differently. And if that were a veteran receiver he was throwing to, I wouldn't say this, but knowing Randall Hill being a rookie, Sometimes these rookies break their routes off and run them incorrectly, and that forces the quarterback to throw the ball uh, away. On third and 19, Marino steps up and throws, and it's off the fingertips of Freddie Banks at the 20-yard line. Scott Miller was all alone, Bob, across the field near the pylon. I don't think Marino was able to see him, but boy, was he wide open over there. Frank Warren was coming in. He helped harass Dan Marino. Well, it has not been pretty for the Dolphin offense. The first three possessions turned out into interceptions. Then the next possession was three plays and out. The next was four plays and out. The next they had it for six plays, and then for this one, three plays. No continuity, no momentum whatsoever. Roby will do the punting. Bad pass. Oh, he boomed a high one. It's hitting and into the end zone. Hit at the five and went in. Kobe did a good job of getting that ball away. 329 remaining in this frenetic first half. 14 to 7, New Orleans. Here's what opportunity looks like. This is the Mazda Summer Savings Express. Get a Mazda 626 sedan. Get your choice of $1,000 cash back from Mazda or 5.9% financing through Mazda American Credit. Grab these savings while you can. <laughs> They're moving. The Mazda Summer Savings Express at Ed Morse, Gunther, Warren, Henry, Bird Road, Zinn, Williamson, King, and Ocean Mazda now. Today is a very good day. You've got a new set of wheels and a license to drive. You, my friend, are on a roll. Can your life get better than this? You bet your spandex because you're going to McDonald's to wheel some delicious deals. Only 59 cents for a regular hamburger, 69 cent cheeseburger, and 99 cents for a chicken fajitas or breakfast burrito. Wow. You ask someone to pinch you. Ah, a volunteer. Yes, your life is good. And at these prices, it only gets better at McDonald's today. Did you know the cost of two business calls from these San Diego pet stores to Denver may surprise you? Of course they're easy to feed. With AT&T Long Distance, your small business can get the quality you trust at extremely competitive prices. They really do make perfect pets. Even though the other company would like you to believe, they always save you lots of money. That's my big savings? That's it. Not exactly the catch of the day. Competitive price. Another AT&T advantage. The Dolphins go back on defense. New Orleans at their own 20-yard line. Cliff Odom, number 93, is in there at the inside linebacker spot now with Kraus. You look at the turnovers. All of those turnovers, interceptions, a wild and woolly first half. There's Odom coming back, of course, from the hip injury. Bobby Bear throws short to the far sideline. That's Gil Fennerty. Second year man, originally a number seven draft choice. Played over in Italy for a season and then in the CFL. Magruder 28 on the tackle. It's a first down for Bobby Hebert and the New Orleans Saints. We'll be seeing Steve Walsh, who I'm told has improved dramatically over his play of a year ago. Talking with some of the New Orleans people. We're checking him out here in the second half, of course. From the 31, getting the call, Craig Hayward. Lewis Hayward. Oliver 
coming into the pile there and tackling one of the linebackers. <laughs> we'll credit Turner with the tackle. <laughs> It's interesting, uh, Jay, that both corners tonight, Magruder and Jackson, have interceptions. Uh, McKayer, uh, last year, uh, the flamboyant one, and J.B. Brown, who is not in camp at this point, unsigned. Uh, J.B. Brown started all of the games last year and was only one of two other defensive backs, cornerbacks, that started every game and played every game that didn't have an interception or a fumble recovery in the National Football League. Penalty carrying the ball that time, and Odom making the stop. The two-minute warning being given to the benches. We'll take a timeout. New Orleans leads Miami 14-7. to 7. The 91 Cadillac. Nobody beats Waterbed City's prices on brand-name bedding. The queen-size unique Posture One mattress and foundation is just $199. Or, for the ultimate in luxurious comfort, the Sealy Queen Pillow Top Mattress and Box Spring is an unbeatable value at $499. The new Euro bed comes complete with twin mattress for only $149, and it's available in a variety of colors. Shop and compare. Nobody beats Waterbed City's prices on brand name bedding. We guarantee it. This is the 11th meeting in preseason between the Saints and the Dolphins. These two teams haven't met since 83 preseason. Miami leading the preseason series 7-3. The Dolphins are 4-1 and one in regular season against the Saints over the years. Saints, hard to believe, Bob, their 25th anniversary year this year. Unbelievable. Yeah. Third down and five. Hebert, a lot of time. He gets out of there and goes down. But he got the first down up at the 42-yard line. E.J. Jr. now in the game, number 54, has had a very fine preseason, made the tackle. And a good job by Bear keeping it alive. So many of the National Football League quarterbacks, as you take a look at Jr., had an interception for a touchdown earlier this preseason. You've got to be able to move around, pick up a first down, do a little scrambling. And activity at the line of scrimmage. A minute and 23 remaining in the half. Going to go against New Orleans. False start. 72. Moving prior to the snap. Five yards. Still first down. The former All-American from Virginia, Jim Dombrowski, number 72 with the infraction. Number 18 there on the right side of your screen is Wesley Carroll, former University of Miami wide receiver last year in a second round draft choice. He missed 26 days of training camp. He's only been in about a week. They need some wide receiver help. A bear. A throw to the far sideline. Oh, almost picked off. Alpha, number 86, had it, and Magruder banged into him there, and that ball almost came away to the Dolphins. I think uh, the one thing that the Shula and uh, Tom Olivadotti, the co defensive coordinator, could be pleased with is the play of the defense. New Orleans has 14 points, but they all came uh, really by gifts of the uh, Dolphin offense. The two corners tonight have played outstandingly, Magruder and Jackson. And that's where you need to be strong. A bear straight back. Now on the run, and he throws, and it's complete. Nice catch right along the 47-yard line by Gerald Alpin. Alpin, a second-year man. I mentioned, though, he's had some experience in the CFL. He had caught seven passes in preseason coming in. Look from behind the Dolphin defense. Just runs away from Krause, number 58. Oldham, number 93. That's the, uh, the two graybeard linebackers for the Dolphins are in there. 58 Kraus uh, has probably got more heart and inspiration than any player on the defense or on the team for that matter. Just a great guy and a great leader. Just doesn't have the wheels and the speed. Bob, while we have an opportunity as timeout is called with 108 remaining. 
take a look at the first five games of the Dolphins at Tuffy at Buffalo and then Indianapolis at Detroit Green Bay and at the Jets and then uh, there's a the game that uh, should go into the win column with New or New England after that is following isn't it? week so yeah. the Buffalo is a tough game to start with but the next five uh, are really not any playoff teams as you take a look at the Saints They've Schedule. got a tough one at Kansas much, much City, tough. I'll tell you. Yeah. Kansas City is going to be a really, uh, really a team to contend with. May, uh, may be there in the championship game. They're three for five on third down conversions. Whoa! Hebert had to give that up very quickly, and he was upset with himself. He was intending for Eric Martin, but threw way, way high. And the Dolphins are going to get the football back. Minute and three remaining in this first half. They had to throw quickly because of Alfred Oglesby, who's moved to the in position. And, and again, Olivadotti says uh, he likes his people up front now. He likes the nose guy, the two ends. As you look at Miller to receive the punt. A lot of defensive uh, pressure from those front three or four players. Tommy Barnhart gets it away. This is a good one. And Miller all the way back to the five yard line. Trying to find, oh, look out. He fumbled the ball as he got hit at the 12. And is it another turnover? The Saints say they have it, but the officials have not given us any indication. A 48-yard punt, New Orleans football. New Orleans has come away with it. That's a tough break for Scott Miller. He is one of the guys that's kind of on the bubble. Caught, catches it on the five-yard line, which was very questionable to begin with. Kind of stumbles. The ball comes loose. He's a wide receiver, ninth-round draft choice, was the most valuable player in the game in Tokyo against the Raiders, and really has been looking good. He's been handling all of the uh, punt returns. But this is a huge mistake. Well, he like came into this ball game saying that he didn't want to he didn't want to make any mistakes, but uh, you know that's that's a costly one right there. And there are the turnovers. Ernest Spears, I think, came away with that football for New Orleans. It was a big pile up there, and he just lost the handle on that ball as he was trying to find somewhere to go upfield. Well, now New Orleans with 51 seconds and two timeouts remaining. A bear giving it to Fennerty. Fennerty down to the five to the four. Pretty good running there by this young fellow out of Holy Cross. Nesty Jackson made the tackle. That was good blocking on the left side. Our right side. Turner gets run out of the play. A huge gaping hole. Linebacker should be in that hole stuffing it. Uh, Krause was in there 58. But a good run by Fennerty. He had 335 yards rushing, third on the team in 1990. And you see what he's been able to do here this evening. Bob, while we have the opportunity, we have talked about it during preseason, but you might run it down again. The uh, new quarterback rule in the National Football League this year, it may come in handy for some people later on. Well, basically, the teams are going to cut down to 47 players now you can only dress 45 and two have to be inactive for those games that was previous to this year this year you'll be able to and usually all one of those two inactives was the third quarterback this year you can dress the third quarterback and keep him inactive unless the one of the first if both of the two quarterbacks that you have on the roster are injured you can then put that third quarterback in the ball game good rule a bear on the run throws back against the grain incomplete he was intending it for Wesley Carroll Bob you alluded to Wesley Carroll out of Miami who had 18 career touchdowns with the Hurricanes Bobby Harden had the coverage back there Carroll a number two draft choice some will remember maybe that 88 yard pass that he caught from Gino Toretta in the game against Cincinnati as a junior and uh, Toretta, of course, has been tapped as the number one quarterback for Miami and what is, for some reason or other, been a very controversial situation here this week. <laughs> Fennerty down to the three. 
Good tackle by McCruder. I thought was what was interesting on the previous play that Carroll was being covered in the end zone by Harden. Yeah. Both University of Miami players, Harden a year out, Carroll, of course, just a rookie. And this is the last time out for New Orleans with 26 seconds remaining. Miami still has two. 14 to 7 New Orleans. 915 to the first period. Dalton Hiller of nine yards for a touchdown after a 43-yard interception returned by Vince Buck. And it was Mills who recovered a fumble by Buck to set it all up. It was 7-0 New Orleans. Frank Warren later scored a touchdown with an interception as he went in from six yards out. It was 14 to nothing. 507 of the second period. Magruder 72 yards with an interception for a touchdown. That's our scoring in the game. All of the offense has belonged to the defense. And the defense has really set up the offense. Uh, New England, I mean, uh, New Orleans has been inside the Dolphins, uh, uh, has gained possession of the ball inside the Dolphin 40-yard line three times, and a fourth time the defense ran it in for a touchdown. Third down, goal to go. From the four-yard line, A Bear, the quick pop over the middle. And a big, big play by Mike Iquinello, the rookie from Michigan State. The pass intended for Eric Martin. Iquinello, who's had a good camp, did a nice job of getting the hand in over to bat it away. Iquinello, another player, a free agent rookie this year, uh, getting a lot of playing time. And that, when you see that, that kind of tells you, well, maybe he's got a chance to make this ball club. He's in there on every nickel and dime situation so far tonight. Morton Anderson, 7 of 8, coming into tonight, has missed the field goal attempt from 52. He had one blocked earlier this year. This one from the 22, spotted at the 12. It's up and it's good. So with 18 seconds remaining, New Orleans with Morton Anderson tacking on three more. Anderson, quite a story. Born in Denmark, came to the U.S. on a cultural exchange program. Speaks about six languages and is one fine kicker. Well, he is. Uh, he has made the Pro Bowl, represented the NFC five of the last six years. I mean, when you stop to think about uh, all the great kickers in this league, and it's very difficult for one to, to really dominate because one will have a good year and then another one will have a better year and uh, he is gone five of the last six years and as you mentioned he is uh, he has been outstanding accuracy up over 77 percent that fumble by Scott Miller on the punt turns into seven points for uh, or three points for uh, New Orleans and it's 17 to 7 there's the scoring play. Anderson, the 21-yard field goal, they count it. I think I said 22. It looked like they were spotting it at the 12, but officially it's a 21-yarder. Morton Anderson, who spent some of his offseason hiking in the Himalayas. Ready to put it in play. And it's Higgs 21 and Logan 20 back. This is going to be returned by Mark Logan. Logan coming to the near sideline, turning it up, and he got to the 20-yard line before Bobby Morse, number 35, a free agent who used to play with Philadelphia, made the stop. There's Morse, good man on special teams for New Orleans. 11 seconds remaining in the half. Dan Marino was supposed to only play the first half of this ball game, but uh, in light of the fact that uh, the Dolphins have done nothing offensively, uh, it'd be interesting to see if Shula is going to say, hey, let's come out and try and get some momentum created in the second half, or if he's just going to say, hey, you know, we're missing so many people, I don't want you to get banged up for next week. Just sit down, let somebody else play. I kind of think that we're going to see him. <laughs> I kind of got you drift there. <laughs> A little delay going to Craver. And that will end it as Sam Mills, number 51, makes the tackle. Well, we come to the end of this first half. New Orleans leading 17 to 7. 
in uh, what was the most interesting 30 minutes of football. Halftime, New Orleans up by 10. Driving a Hyundai Excel has never felt better. Maybe that's because they're so reliable. After all, over 95% of all Hyundais ever sold are still on the road. But then again, with all the extras you can get, you feel good even when you're not on the road. Hyundai. Yes, Hyundai. Save big during Hyundai clearance time at your Hyundai dealer now. Another Home Depot certified advantage. Better service. Service and warehouse prices. Ain't that something? At Home Depot, low prices are just the beginning. It's our service that really sets us apart. You'll see dozens and dozens of people in orange aprons ready to give you a hand whatever your problem. Because at Home Depot, we really care. When you're with us at Home Depot, you feel right at home. You gotta love it. Just how realistic is the audio system in the Lexus LS400? Welcome back to Joe Robbie Stadium. Not good news from here. The New Orleans Saints leading the Dolphins 17 to 7. We'll be back with more halftime activity. But first, let's go to Diana Morgan in Action News. Thank you, Cambro. We'll pass it back to you in about five minutes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diana Morgan, and this is an Action News halftime report. Dramatic developments today in the Soviet Union. Fallout from this week's coup has brought an end to the Communist Party. President Mikhail Gorbachev resigned as its party chief, essentially dissolving it. Some are calling the resignation a second coup because, in effect, much of Gorbachev's power has now been usurped and is in the hands of Russian President Boris Yeltsin. Yeltsin signed a decree suspending the Communist Party. This morning, its headquarters were sealed and cut off from communications, and a new Russian flag is already flying over the Kremlin. Many Soviet experts feel that Gorbachev has no power left, that he can't... Back halftime here at Joe Robbie Stadium, the Dolphins trailing the Saints 17-7. We, we have a Pop Warner demonstration going on here at halftime. A reminder of how precious youth can be, and this week... Out of Dolphin Camp, we had a chance to share some precious moments with a youngster. A youngster who had a chance to meet his hero. Reminder that uh, sometimes the youthful moments, for him anyway, more precious than most. The thrill of seeing NFL players in action takes on a different meaning when the future may be in doubt. For John Owens Jr., his trip to South Florida this week has been the uplifting experience he's needed. Sponsored by the Make-A-Wish Foundation that grants special wishes for seriously ill children, John, who suffers from leukemia and lives 80 miles from Pittsburgh, had no trouble picking a South Florida visit to the Dolphins in Dan Marino. He had the chance to watch practice, but the big moment of his trip was the chance to meet his idol, Dan Marino, a meeting that didn't disappoint anyone. Zulu's too. There to be different. Excited. I just wanted to see him because I've always liked the Miami Dolphins. Pretty easy to be a Marino fan from your neck of the woods, isn't it? No. No? No. There's a lot of Browns and Steelers fans. Don't yeah, drink the water over there. It's dangerous. His uncle Bobby's a diehard Miami fan. He always has been, and I think that's... He kind of idolizes his uncle Bob a little bit. But now the Pope couldn't get him off the Miami Dolphins now. He, that's all he's talked about, Dan Marino. A special week continuing for Mr. Owens, the younger Mr. Owens. A special week 
finishing up here with a chance to join the Skybox, the Channel 6 Skybox, and watch this football game. We certainly hope that uh, for his sake he can go back with a thought of a victory first part of this game and not a pretty sight you have to wonder what uh, Don Shula is saying in the halftime locker room the Dolphins with an abysmal first quarter 17 to 7 they trail it could have been a lot worse were it not for a defense that played fairly well for the Miami Dolphins we'll be taking a look at what happens in the second half and for the second half of play Jay and Bob will they'll be back with you after this break Toyota fun is bigger than ever because Toyota will do to South Beach. I shaved my head. People all over South Florida are shaving their heads like Captain Jean-Luc Picard on Star Trek The Next Generation. Watch weeknights at 7 this fall and get the look. <coughs> the Jean-Luc look every weeknight at 7 this fall on Channel 6. Tonight's Channel 6 Action Sports Exclusive is sponsored in part by... Your local Toyota dealers. I love what you do for me, Toyota. The Dolphins and the Saints returning to the field here at Joe Robbie Stadium. And we have a half of play to go. And then some decisions to be made on both teams, of course, before their openers. The halftime statistics. These are the lowlights of the first half. If you're looking offensively, if you're a defensive type person, you'll love these. Dolphins rushing for only six yards and only three first downs in the first uh, 30 minutes of play. 67 yards passing, total yards of 73. They had a total of 28 plays in the first half. Marino was 5 of 18, three interceptions. The one fumble late in the uh, half by Scott Miller produced a field goal for New Orleans. New Orleans turned it over twice themselves. Uh, time of possession is uh, insignificant, but uh, it's been a defensive battle and really a strange game. And uh, Bob, both coaches got to be concerned about turnovers, of course, but Jim Mora saw his team lose to Indianapolis at the Hoosier Dome 34-28 last week, and the Colts scored 24 points off of New Orleans turnovers in that game. Well, the, there's been 24 points scored in this ball game. And all 24 points are a direct uh, result of the defensive uh, play of these two teams. We've had two interceptions run back for touchdowns. Another time, New Orleans took over on their uh, uh, on the 13-yard line and went in from there. And another time, uh, they took over uh, on their 17-yard uh, line and got a field goal. So. The Dolphins' only points were came, came from their defense. The defensive unit, Jay, is really playing well. Yes, they are. Really playing well, uh, considering the field position that they have uh, to go out on the start the drives on. Well, we can expect to see Steve Walsh here in the second half. I don't know if he'll start right off, but we will watch that. And it will be interesting whether Marino stays in to try to get something going or that we see... Seacules or Mitchell. Penalty 22, Morse 35, back to receive this kickoff from Charlie Bauman. And the second half underway. Bobby Morse at the 15, the 20, and out to the 24, fumble. And they're going to say that the ball was down at the 23. Ball down at the 23-yard line. We can set a record here for turnovers tonight. We already had six in the first half. As you mentioned, neither offense has played well. Uh, New Orleans not playing well in, New, in, in Indianapolis last week, and the Dolphins not doing anything uh, last week in Denver. Yeah, that Monday night show in the Mile High City was uh, not what you would call a four-star effort by any sense. It is Steve Walsh, number four, University of Miami graduated there with a finance degree. Dolphins take a timeout. That's not the way to start off the second half. A little disorganization. Hmm. That's unusual. Walsh, of course, played on the national championship team of 87. They were 12 and 0. We will show you Steve Walsh as he runs the Saints when we come back right after this. Harding 
old money. Nice guy. Bogosian, pharmaceuticals, shoots in the low 80s. That's Vanderpool, oil, good backhand. Who's that? Turpin, bazillionaire. What's he like? He's smart. Stop by your South Florida Lexus dealer and see how smart driving an LS400 can be. When you need tires, you can't beat the exceptional ride and long mileage you'll get from Michelin radials. Before you buy your tires somewhere else, consider these three facts. Only Tire Kingdom guarantees the absolute lowest prices on quality Michelin tires. We carry one of the largest selection of Michelins anywhere, backed by our exclusive mileage guarantees. And at Tire Kingdom, we'll install your Michelins in less than 45 minutes, or you'll get an extra discount. So remember, the one place for Michelins is Tire Kingdom. Come to the Isuzu Invitational, and you might discover that you're a stylus person. The Isuzu Stylus XS. It matches sleek sportiness with the safety of a standard driver's side airbag. Best of all, it's now up to $1,700 less. Get great savings on a sporty Isuzu Impulse, too. Only during the Isuzu Invitational, the perfect time to compare and save. Or really just save, because with Isuzu, there's no comparison. Save on a stylus now at your local Isuzu dealer. The ball at the 24-yard line of the New Orleans Saints. Dolphins, some problem here to start this second half, having to call timeout. Preseason figures for Steve Walsh. He's got Hayward and Fennerty in the backfield. And the handoff to Fennerty. Fennerty gets two yards at the most. Wrapped up by Brian Cox, number 51. Jeff Cross, number 91. Look at Brian Cox got an opportunity to start his first uh, game tonight. The right outside linebacker. The coaches have really been impressed with Brian Cox. He was a fifth round draft choice and they think he is a real steal at the number five uh, slot in the draft. On second down Walsh puts it up and it is complete up at the 35 yard line. That's Patrick Newman now in the game. Newman number 15 out of Utah State. Some other changes. They've got Greg Scales 83 at tight end. Wesley Carroll is in there at the other wide receiver spot. Brad Leggett 62 at center. Steve Walsh quick drop. Little curl. Esty Jackson made the play. It is a first down at the 35 yard line. Walsh down the middle and it is complete at the 48 yard line. That's Newman again. So Walsh and Newman hooking up on a couple of passes. Bobby Harton had the coverage at strong safety number 45. Harden playing in there for Jarvis Williams. He hurt his uh, shoulder maybe. Yeah, he's coming out. There's Harden. Was injured of course and only played in one game in 90. Jarvis, let's see. We'll send Jarvis Williams in or Iquinello. Iquinello's in there now. Here's the handoff going to Hayward. Hayward drags a couple of players with him down to the 40 yard line. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I'll forget that side of Craig Hayward, number 34, the fullback, 270 pounds chasing uh, Magruder on that interception. He almost <laughs> caught him. He did, and as you I said, mean, it they, would have been very embarrassing yeah. for the scooter. And they say this guy is overweight. <laughs> if he can run like that, uh, I don't think he's overweight. What a load he is to bring down. He really is. Ironhead, they call him. Isn't and there he, a beer in Pittsburgh or something named Ironhead Beer? That's Iron City. Iron City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send him a bill for that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> And this time, Fennerty trying to ferret his way through. He gets down to the 37-yard line. Jeff Cross, number 91, there to make the play. Well, a played at Holy Cross, Bob, and apparently has uh, been pretty impressive. I mentioned he played in Italy for a year before he went to the CFL, so he's been around learning the trade. Played football in Italy? Yep. Played a year in the 
Italian League over there. I they had an Italian pro basketball yeah, league. Yeah, well, they must have a football league, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wasn't aware of it till I read it in his bio. Benedict goes in motion. Hayward. And we're seeing now a good test for the New Orleans or for the Miami defense against this uh, running offense of the New Orleans Saints. They've got the lead 17 to 7. They want to run some clock and work on their running game. Saw a brief look at Sean Lee, number 98. He is in at nose tackle. Lee held out uh, until uh, earlier this week, signed his contract, came in and said he wasn't happy about it, but he was here to play football. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. Walsh, lots of time over the middle and intercepted. Returning it is Iquinello, the rookie to midfield and down to the 47 yard line. We mentioned he'd had a good camp. He had two interceptions in the Aloha Bowl for Michigan State last year. Iquinello, 25 yard return. It's a young man that went through the entire draft. Nobody drafted him. The Dolphins signed him as a free agent. Walsh looks to his left the entire time. Iquinello was across the field, saw the eye movement of Walsh, and came over and picked the ball off. This man may be making the ball club right here. Bob, that was an outstanding interception the way he read that and no came across the field. First down. And the quarterback is Scott Mitchell. Mark Higgs, 21 with the football. Up to the 47 yard line. Scott Ross, number 55, on the tackle for the New Orleans Saints. Mitchell out of Utah. Kind of a mirror of Marino. It's interesting that Shula would pick uh, Scott Mitchell to go in uh, after Marino comes out. Uh, I think he wants to see a little bit more of this, uh, this uh, good looking young quarterback. Miller and Hill are the wide receivers. Eight and 81. Second down and five. That's Miller in motion. And cutting it back through is Higgs for a first down at the 42-yard line. Nice move by Mark Higgs out of Kentucky. Tackle made by Vincey Glenn, 29. Ernest right, Spears also there. Right side of your screen, good blocking. Uh, 61 was Williams. 60 is Widener. I don't know why it seems to be that when Marino goes out and the other quarterbacks come in, they seem to move the ball club down the field and score. Marino, the unenviable position of not scoring a touchdown for his club during preseason five games. Higgs again. Higgs all the way to the 30, fights to the 28-yard line. Came in with 77 yards and a 3.1 average, but the little guy who's only 5'7", rolling here. Take a look at the line play. That's Williams, 61. But Higgs doing a lot on his own. Widener is 60. Not a very clean hole there, but just keeps plugging and keeps running. It was finally Nicholson, 38, and Warren, 73, that brought him down. First down at the 29-yard line, 825 left in the third. Just a good run there. Bobby Harden, an injured right shoulder. We expect him to return. And again, Higgs. And Higgs is rolling. Very close to the first down near the 19-yard line. Just shy of it, it looked like. Gene Williams, number 61, the right guard that time, doing some nice blocking up front. Take a look at the right guard. Turns his man out. Good lead block by the fullback, Page. On second and one, here's Higgs, first down, spinning inside the 15. NC Glenn, 29, on the tackle. Longest run from scrimmage for the Dolphins coming into this game had been 10 yards. Mark Logan comes in, and Higgs goes out and gets a very fine round of applause, and well, he should. 
really took himself out of the ball game. Motion to Shula, I need a break. And the fans wanting to cheer positively about something. Shula, I need a break. And the fans wanting to cheer positively about something. Gave him a nice hand. Miller wide to the left, Hill set to the right. Scott Mitchell at the controls, calls on Logan. And Logan gets maybe two yards. Logan signed this week, of course. Fifth year man, 5'11, 222 out of Kentucky. Robert Goff, 91, now at the nose tackle for the Saints, made the tackle. Saints have basically a second line defense in there. Les Miller, Scott Ross, James Williams, Warren is still there. They have at left outside linebacker Joel Smenji out of Western Michigan. Swilling is still there, but then it's Jones and Glenn. Spears and Nicholson in the secondary. Second and 10 at the 14. The pass is complete to Hill. And Hill is brought down right at the seven yard line. Vincey Glenn 29 and Nicholson 38 converging on him. Good catch. One of the Saints is shaken up. Here it is. Good job by Randall Hill. Hill not doing a lot in the preseason. Catching a couple of slants, not really getting loose. We've got a timeout. 6.06 remaining. We're in the third quarter. New Orleans leading 17 to 7. Every beer in the world tries to measure up to German beer. Every German beer tries to measure up to Bex, the number one imported German beer. It's summer Toyota Thon, and more Toyotas are on the way. In fact, this month, Toyota will sell 115,000 new Toyotas. There's no better time to buy a Toyota truck. Listen to her. They're offering big factory incentives. Plus savings on factory options. Listen to this Toyota Thon story. I got a great deal. I saved between $1,500 and $2,000. I'm really excited. Plus immediate delivery and big option savings on the new SRX Sport Truck. Summer Toyota Thon. Truck excitement you can't afford to miss. I see you were feeling a little remorse, some anxiety, perhaps, because you didn't buy a snapper this year. Tisk, tisk. Well, let's play a little word association game, shall we? Sure. Ready? Mm-hmm. Emotional gratification. Uh, big snapper sale. Peak experience. Free lawn stuff? I see. Anxiety. Sale ends October 31st. Good grief, man. Snap out of it. Well, at least your crisis is well-timed. Choose free merchandise with your new snapper at the fall cleanup sale. This fall, it's People's Court at 4, Action News at 4.30, Geraldo at 5, Action News at 6, CBS News at 6.30, and Star Trek at 7. When it comes to brewing beer, the Germans really have a way. And here's their best way. Bex, the number one imported German beer. The injured player, Calvin Nicholson, went off under his own power. Brett Maxey comes back in. The eighth play of this drive, Miami's longest tonight. Triple tight end alignment. Henry 87, Beatty 84, and Seavers 88. You wonder whether he might throw off of this. Let's see. Be interesting. Yes, he is going to throw, and there it is. Greg Beatty, touchdown. Bob, I had a feeling with those trip tight ends in there. <laughs> play calling Scott Mitchell hits Beatty for the touchdown well they had a timeout to think about it and talk it over with the injury to the New Orleans Saints the Dolphins have not been very successful down in this area a great shot of Beatty 84 just getting a good release in fact the Dolphins were 27th in the National Football League last year in scoring once they got inside the five-yard line. Only San Diego was worse. Charlie Bauman boots it through. He doesn't mind that Stoyanovich isn't around. 5.45 remaining third quarter. New Orleans 17, Miami 14. Wally Cleaver's dad was always chewing him out about having respect for money. <laughs> Another thing, Wally, you've got to start having a little respect for money. <laughs> See what I mean? What 
the Toyota Camry, because now you can save up to $900 on Camry LE's extra value package of options. There are factory to dealer incentives too. If I know Beaver, he would have been the first one to pocket that money. Do I get to keep the money? <laughs> of course. These are the machines of the 90s. Fuel injection, overhead cams, poly valve. Today's high-tech engines demand high-tech protection. Kendall Motor Oil is specifically designed to provide the ultimate protection against heat and wear under the most extreme conditions. Don't take a chance with your high-tech engine. Use Kendall Motor Oil, formulated to protect your high-tech engine. Kendall Motor Oil, pour in the protection. Kendall, available at these locations. Call this toll-free number now to receive a free Vacation Values discount book during Kissimmee St. Cloud's Great Fall Getaway. Stay right in the heart of Central Florida's attractions. Save on hotels, dining, and tickets to Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom, Epcot Center, Disney MGM Studios, as well as SeaWorld, Spaceport USA, and Universal Studios Florida. Call 1-800-992-KISS today and receive a free coupon book and save on your Kissimmee St. Cloud Great Fall Getaway. 5.45 remaining third quarter. Dolphins back in it. Eight plays, 57 yards. And the pass from Mitchell to Beatty. And what really set that up is Iquinello's interception that got him uh, down in good field position and the great running of Mark Higgs. Comes to Bobby Morse. Morse goes down right at the 20-yard line. And Kerry Glenn, who's been superb tonight, I think that's his third special teams tackle. He comes up again with a fine play, number 35. Congratulated there by Don Chula. Shoe's getting a little smile on there. I bet he, I, I think he had a few things to say at halftime. The I'm offense sure. came out, scored on the first possession down the field, and... Uh, this team needs to get some momentum going for that uh, that big date up in uh, Buffalo next weekend. First and ten at the 21 yard line. Jordan and Finnerty, the running backs. Little pass to Finnerty out of the backfield, and he is brought down. Fumble. Fumble at the 27. You say they've got it. And they do. Finnerty fumble. Who's under the pile? And underneath there, Cliff Odom, number 93, and another turnover. Iquinello was in underneath there. He, I think, kind of dislodged the ball. Let's see it again, Bob. Another uh, swing pass, and they've been throwing these a lot. Let's see if the ball comes out before he's down. Oh, yes, no question about it. Iquinello helped he, to bang it out of there. Iquinello hit it out? Yep. All right. And a, and a time when he needs to impress some coaches to try and make this ball club. First and 10 at the 25. Mitchell to the far sideline. Complete to Randall Hill. First down inside the 10-yard line. Nicholson, 38, had the coverage and ran Hill out of bounds. Dolphins down early, 14 to nothing, trying to take the lead. Randall Hill... Running his man off. Good throw, good route. And Randall Hill doing everything he can to keep his enthusiasm down. Play action, good protection. First down, play action pass. That's why he's got such good protection. Page and Higgs are the running backs. Mitchell has been impressive. The handoff going to Higgs. the line before the fumble touchdown it is touchdown it is it was that close it was close i called it that way bob because i saw that ball go out now they may of course take a look at this but i thought he got it in before he lost it here it is good blocking up front huge gaping hole there that's close. Oh, that is close. From that angle, you can't tell. That is close. Here, let's take another look. 
There's blowing the whistle, stopping it. I think, I think it's a touchdown. Yeah, you can't reverse I that. I think it's From a what touchdown. what we've seen, you cannot reverse it. I agree with you. It's got to be indisputable visual evidence. And uh, look at the blocking up front. Widener and uh, Williams. Yeah, you can't reverse that. No, sir. Although uh, it was a great effort by Higgs, the one thing that uh, the coaches don't like to see is the ball coming out and leaving it a decision in the hands of the officials. Here he is. A ball has got to be over that plane. The white line there that's yep. on the ground. And it's just, just too hard to tell. I, it, from the other angle, I would guess, I would have to say that he was over. But uh, there, is, there is not enough uh, evidence from, from what we've seen to reverse the, 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 the officials on the field. I called it a touchdown. Nothing happened until the line judge on this side came across with his hands in the air. I think this one is the best angle, even though it's from behind. That's tough to call. Al Sabato is the replay the official. Line, the plane going straight up. I thought they, I thought they signaled. I thought they signaled, I thought they had already done this and said it was a touchdown. It's well, a wanted to take a look at another shot that they had, I guess. Now Shula walking back up. He went down to take a look at the scene. Talking with Scott Secules. Touchdown. Touchdown. Well, you just can't, from what we've seen, it would be tough to, uh, overturn it. Instant replay is only involved with lines and possession. And that is certainly one of the, the major lines is that whether the ball was over the plane of the goal line. Penalty. Here for just a second. Offside for New Orleans. It'll be enforced on the kickoff. Two plays, 25 yards. The touchdown, 444 remaining third quarter. Dolphins have the lead, 21-17. <laughs> Come to the Isuzu Invitational and you might discover that you turn around on a night of turnovers. Down 14 to nothing, now up 21 to 17. Miami six yards rushing in the first half, 54 yards in the third quarter, and Bob, 53 of those yards by Higgs. Well, something is all messed up here. I mean, <laughs> why when, you're, when your all-pro quarterback goes out, does the, the second team quarterback come in and everything good happens? I think part of it is what you mentioned already, and that is that the second team defenses usually come in in the That's second true. half when they're playing. Yep. I think the other thing is that the pressure is off uh, these young players that are coming in. Uh, I mean, some of them, certainly there's pressure on them, but, uh, you know, uh, there's something all fouled up, and it's not good as far as the Dolphins playing with their first unit going into the first uh, regular season game. You want your, your veterans to be scoring, and your backups to be having the problems, and this is just opposite of what you really want. Gil Finnerty and Buford Jordan, the running backs, 22 and 23. That's Finnerty going wide, the handoff to Jordan. Jordan trying to cut it outside, gets a couple. Jordan played at McNeese State. Cliff Odom on the tackle. Reminder that you can stay tuned, of course, for more National Football League action later tonight. The Buffalo Bills and the Chicago Bears following an abbreviated newscast. You'll get a chance to see the team that the Dolphins face in the opener at Rich Stadium a week from Sunday. A week from tomorrow. Second down in about seven. Finnerty breaking out. Penalty marker thrown back at the 25-yard line. 
penalty stop by Iquinello. And we'll wait for the call. Holding against New Orleans. They'll bring this back. Holding. Center. Ten yards. Still second down. Brad Leggett is the second line center in there for the Saints, number 62. His dad was the great Earl Leggett, who's now an assistant offensive line coach with the Raiders. Brad he's moved Leggett. on, Jay. He's, he's now the head coach of the New Orleans Knight. Oh, is that right? In the arena football league. I wasn't aware of that. Earl Leggett. But uh, Brad Leggett played at USC, was originally a number eight draft choice of the Denver Broncos. Now playing center. Second and 17, and the throw is dropped by Buford Jordan. Mark Sander putting on some pressure. The inside linebacker is in the game now, 67. Harry Price, number 90, is in there. One of the guys on the bubble, Jay, that we've talked about, uh, Mike Iquinello, having an outstanding night. Uh, he picked off that pass and set up the touchdown. Uh, he forced the fumble. Uh, he's in on several tackles. He's been uh, playing in the dime, nickel and dime, five and six defensive back situations for the Dolphins all night. Things are looking pretty good for this free agent uh, rookie uh, to make this ball club. New Orleans is four out of eight third down conversions. Walsh out of the middle, incomplete. He had a man who had split the seam, the first year man from Utah State, Patrick Newman. Iquinello was coming over. Penalty marker down way back at the four yard line. Holding 78. Here's a look at Iquinello reacting to that ball. They were in a two deep zone. The ball was thrown down the middle. The ball would have been thrown better. It would have been a completion. I think that's the knock on Iquinello. He is very aware of what's going on. He's just a step slow to play that too deep, but uh, he's made some big plays here tonight. A holding call on Kime 78, and that was refused. Tommy Barnhart to punt to Scott Miller. A boomer that Miller takes at the 37. 45 midfield breaks away and almost took it all the way had he been able to just get one more foot out in front there at the 42 yard line and stay on his feet he might have been able to go all the way there's the long and short right there hill and miller hill the number one draft choice knows he has a teammate miller the number nine draft choice in a position that has a lot of players he needs to take every opportunity and make the most of it. He has already fumbled the ball away inside the Dolphins' own 15-yard line that turned into a field goal. He's trying to make this ball club. 49-yard punt, and then the fine return by Scott Miller. Leroy Holt, 38, is in the game. First-year man out of USC. Hand off to Higgs. Boy, Higgs is having some third quarter. I don't care who he's running against. And the Brian. offensive line, too, uh, yeah. Jay, is starting to kick in. Uh, Sims, number 69, left side. That's Dellenbach, 65, does a nice job. And Holt, uh, who just came in. Uh, Henry, number 87, gets a block on the linebacker. Leroy Holt, the, uh, the first-year fullback from USC, getting a chance to uh, do something uh, here tonight. Second down and five. That's Holt, penalty marker thrown. Holt getting to the 35-yard line. Les Miller, number 69, made the stop. And this will go against the Dolphins. The attendance, the paid attendance tonight, 44,099. Holding, 65, offense, 10 yards. Holding call against Jeff Dellenbach. The second holding call on Dellenbach tonight. Dellenbach playing at left tackle. He was uh, he was penciled in as the starting center before the injury to Richmond Webb. Ulan Hake. 
last year is a holdout and uh, Dellenbach uh, really feels as though his best position is center forced to play left tackle. Uh oh Scott Mitchell and a problem now a penalty marker goes down. False start offense moving prior to the snap still second down. Well, some problems there between Mitchell and Widener. I mentioned earlier that Widener is a converted nose tackle. He's been struggling a little bit at that center spot. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to improve if, in fact, Dellenbach has to stay over there at left tackle over the long haul. Dellenbach, a very gifted performer now in his seventh year from Wisconsin. Well, he's, in fact, Dellenbach is the most versatile player on that offensive line. He can play any of those positions. In fact, uh, before last year, started 35 straight games in that offensive line for the Dolphins. Widener is a good pass blocker, but, boy, you have other things to think about when you're playing center. This pass is complete to Scott Miller. And did he get his feet down? He did. That was close. If they review this, it may be, uh, may be close, but, but nonetheless, Miller coming up with a nice catch. 16-yard pickup here. See the pass protection, play action. When you have a running game, the play actions work. One foot, uh, I don't know, oh that boy, left foot. I don't know. Came down on the line. Let's it's see if we're going to see it. Well, it's going to stand, apparently. All right. Hey, you can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. The official right in the way. But it was a good throw and catch. And this goes to Jim Jensen, who's in there now. Number His first catch. And for Jensen. First catch of the preseason. Here's yep. the story right here, running off the field. Jim Jensen, all of the throws that he has caught over the years, that's that's the first pass he's caught in preseason. And there is a possibility, some think, that he may not make this ball club. And the line is, you know, they know what Jim Jensen can do. Let's put in these other guys and and, and see what see what they can do. But I think the fact that Jensen is in there speaks well for him. I think Shula thinks he's just too versatile. Higgs hit right along the 30-yard line by Les Miller. Mitchell, since he has come on, Bob. Nine yards and one touchdown. You know, and people people say, how can Mitchell come in and do what Marino couldn't do? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Marino didn't look good. He, he was throwing off balance uh, the, when the ball was there. They were dropping it. Uh, it's just one of those things. The end of three quarters. Miami's up on top, 21-17. again it's what the competition is shooting for nice shot in seconds making it practically impossible to steal it's highly visible too. car thieves see the club and keep on going that's why over 600 police departments like mine endorse and recommend the club if everyone used the club we police could forget about auto theft and spend our time dealing with more serious crimes like murder, rape, and drugs. You can buy the club at all good stores that handle auto accessories for less than $60, except no imitations. I recommend the club. Dolphins preseason football is a Channel 6 action sports exclusive. Randolph and Bob Greasy with you from Joe Robbie Stadium. Better than 44,000 here watching season action of the 91 season. Going wide to the right, Randall Hill. They've got Miller in the slot out there on second and nine. Here they come. 
Mitchell handles it and just over the outstretched fingertips of Scott Miller. Fans down in the corner wanted a call down there. Good pickup. Uh, New Orleans was blitzing a good uh, pickup offensively by the Dolphins. Watch the pass protection. Linebackers blitzing. Everybody picks their, their man. Mitchell stands in there, throws the ball where he should. Give the offensive man the only chance to catch the ball. That's just good coverage. Looks like he was tripped a little bit, but... Uh, That's Calvin Nicholson back there. Over the field for Mitchell on third and nine. Mitchell throwing complete short of the first down to Scott Miller at the 23 yard line Reggie Jones a rookie from Memphis State number 27 who has excellent speed was right there and made the tackle and Charlie Bauman will come on the All-American for the Mountaineers of West Virginia played for Don Nyland's fine teams at Morgantown played with the Orlando Thunder and he has been perfect in preseason in all areas. Scott. At the 32, 42 yard field goal. Little trouble on the snap. The kick is up. Wide to the left. Bad That's snap. his first miss. Bad it, snap. Yep, it was a bad snap. His first miss. It's 21-17 Miami, back with more in a moment. Your Nissan dealer's year-end closeout means one thing. Huge savings. You could save big with factory-to-dealer incentives on Nissan Sentra. And special closeout savings on Maxima. Take big bucks off the tough Nissan truck. And make your best deal on Nissan Stanza. You gotta see your Florida Nissan dealer before September 3rd, because after that, the case is closed on these closeout incentives. Smooth operator is together naturally. He knows Schlitz malt liquor means quality. Everybody checks him out when he's on the scene. He's got power and strength, you know what I mean. Alone is not the groove. Along with strength, he's got mellow and smooth. A deaf combo, the originator, is known to all. The NFL, the excitement can be yours for Dolphin tickets. Call 620-2578 or Ticketmaster at 1-800-255-3094. Get your tickets for exciting Dolphin football action 91. Buford Jordan, 23. Fred McAfee, the rookie, number six pick, number 25 in there now. With Steve Walsh in the backfield, the pass upfield to the tight end, Craig Scales. Scales, a four-year man, number 83 out of Wake Forest, hit by Mark Sander, number 67. First down at the 40. One without a huddle. Well, if things aren't... to McAfee and he rolls up to the 48 yard line where Sander makes the play Bob the Dolphins have that no huddle package and we may see some of it uh, in the not too distant future well that's one of the things they wanted to work on this preseason I think they've worked on it in practice and you may see it next week up in Buffalo but uh, Buffalo runs it better than any team in the league Stepping outside. As J. 
Jr. EJ, of course, working with recovering drug addicts. One time had a problem with that. The former Cardinal had a fine camp. He's had an outstanding camp. Uh, Junior wants to play more. He said with the absence of Hugh Green, uh, he feels like he should be the starter. Has been a defensive end in passing situations, but uh, he's just been an outstanding player. Wainwright and Scales, double tight ends in there now. 46 and 83 on third and one. Getting the call is McAfee, and he breaks it out. And First down, a pickup of 19 as corner. That screen gets blocked, and then Sanders, 67, both rookies get fouled up at the line of scrimmage, but the man that should have been making the play was the rookie seventh round draft choice, Chris Green. Walsh straight back, throwing, and it is incomplete at the 25, intended for McAfee. Mark Sander, the inside linebacker, coming over to make a fine play. Sander free agent out of Louisville he has had two sacks he's forced a fumble and uh, recovered a fumble in this preseason he has been a pleasant surprise played for Howard Schnellenberger up in the uh, Louisville Schnellenberger's really turned that program around yes he has the throw to McAfee at the 28-yard line, well short of the first down. And he went right down to take that off his shoe tops. Steve Walsh, the uh, quarterback, uh, started 11 games. Gave the Cowboys a Saints gave up a lot for this man right here. Walsh out of the shotgun on third and seven. Over the middle, a beautiful throw to Patrick Newman again. Newman has been impressive. There's some question as to whether or not he caught the ball and if he still has it. And I guess there's no doubt about it. First down, New Orleans. Walsh looks around. Not a strong arm. Not a real strong arm. He said last year was a tough. learn a whole new system on the run but now really knows the system inside and out going through training camp they're very high on him at New McAfee at the 11 stopped by Mark Sander we mentioned in the first half Jim Mora and his coaches have not decided who will quarterback the New Orleans Saints in their opener at the Superdome a week from tomorrow against Seattle. That's one of the many decisions that they will have to make. I think Walsh has had the better preseason so far. They're chanting defense here, second and eight at the 11. That is Wesley Carroll. Carroll goes down along the five. I quit. And it was a smart play by Steve Walsh. 
Clock rolling with 8.45 to play, fourth quarter. First and goal at the three. And down goes Buford Jordan. Jordan was the first to get there. Also some help from Brian Cox. Going over to that side, the catch was made over there by Wesley Carroll, who went into that zone along with Alphen, the tackle by Magruder, to save the touchdown, the ball at the two. Wesley Carroll working on Magruder. The ball had been there a little bit quicker. He may have been able to catch it. Well, the Hurricanes have certainly come out with a bunch of good wide receivers. Michael Irvin is playing out in Dallas. Buford Jordan with a good block. That rookie tight end, Wainwright from Northern Colorado, also doing a good job. What you want to do is just string this wide and then hope that the pursuit catches up. To get the touchdown. A long drive of 76 yards, 11 plays. Morton Anderson puts it up. It is good. Just how realistic is the audio? As you look at this field at Joe Robbie Stadium, across the way, the big sign, Miami Dolphins, Florida Marlins. And we were just visited for a moment. It was very nice to see Mr. Wayne Huizenga and uh, also Mr. Carl Barger, the new president of the Florida Marlins. They're here in attendance tonight, and they've got a big job ahead, Bob, but... seen this park when in back in March when the Yankees and the Orioles played here and they had this turned into a baseball 57,000 one day and I think Love it. oh yeah there's no question about that 703 remaining Twenty yard line, the Dolphins. Mark Higgs and Leroy Holt, twenty one and thirty eight, are the running backs, and the deep back Higgs gets it, bangs his way for a couple. Ronaldo Turnbull, ninety seven. Eighty on the tackle. Turnbull's quite a story. From St. Thomas in the. battling to the 30-yard line first down Henry was an all-american in high school from st. Petersburg and played for the hurricanes works Henry probably one of the best receiving tight ends in
fine second half performance. He's up to the 38 yard line before Ernest Spears brings him down. There are a couple of teams in the National Football League who don't even have tight ends. Well, the tight true. end position is changing. Well, it is. Uh, pro football is changing with, with more wide receivers, three wide. Uh, uh, don't even have tight ends on their roster. When they go, when they need uh, tight ends, they put in additional offensive linemen to, uh, to play that role. For the Dolphins, you know, we talked about earlier three quarterbacks. You can activate uh, two of them and inactivate one of them. And Scott Mitchell, who did was not active at all last year. Man, for a first down to Randall Hill. Took it. Mitchell may have called an audible. He gives it to Higgs. Higgs, the little pepper pot, is inside the 40-yard line. Tackle. 29. Trying to add an interception early in the first half. Take a look at the pass. I mean, the run blocking. Good blocking by uh, Dellenbach. Second half and use it defensively. All right. Three octane gasoline? Is that right? Maybe I could go fill it up. Just to the gas station. For even better performance, there's 93 octane Chevron Supreme with Tecrolene. Nothing's better at keeping valves clean. Three hours. Gee, Dad, you didn't want me to. Chevron, we're with you all the way. You got it. If you love getting even, getting the bad guys, getting the dirt, yes, you gotta love. Been from my aspect, really very interesting got to be very disappointing certain aspects of it for Dolphin fans but on the other hand I think there have been